Uh, I want to start out by thanking the Arkansas fans for coming out today. I thought the crowd was outstanding. It was loud. Um, very thankful. Uh, usually the folks that have the most problems are the minority, not the majority of people, and that proved it today with the game time change and all those things. And so we're very, very grateful for that. Proud of the team. Uh, we got to play a whole lot of people, and we haven't been able to do that much since I've been here. And uh, the wonderful thing about that is that the second team and some threes, you know, picked a pass and scored. And they basically won seven to three when they went in, and the second team offense went down and scored. And um, you know, we've got gotten away from uh, did I get to play or not? It's how well did you play? And uh, I talked to the team at length afterwards about we've got some things to clean up with penalties. Um, a run game was not what we wanted to be. But let's don't make a mountain out of molehill. The passing game was what we wanted to be. The protections were what we wanted to be. So we've got a lot of work to do, but I'm proud of the team. And I take, I'll take a 56 to 17 anytime somebody wants to give it to us. Yeah, you know, anytime you start fast, you you know, you take a chance, Trey, on what you do. You know, we talked about physicality right after stretch, something, whether it be bubble, whether it be fastball starts, whether it be pods. It worked. Now, <laughs> I don't know if it'll work every time, but I thought we really started fast. I think defense had two, three, maybe three, but I, think, I know two, three and outs in a row. And then uh, the offense went right back and, and scored. So uh, start of the game was we had a little lull in the second half or second quarter, and then scoring on the last play of the half was a was a big momentum for us as well to go up 35 to three. Well, we couldn't get to their safeties. You know, uh, we didn't get great movement on our inside runs, but we couldn't get to their safeties, which was probably the reason why we're making a, yard, a lot of yards throwing the football. Uh, I do think Dan probably could have thrown it quite a, quite a bit more. Um, but we, we also had have, have work to do in the run game. And, and, uh, but I think you'll see a little bit of combination of both, Trey. I think you'll see that we didn't block them as well as what we want to. And safety's made a lot of tackles. Uh, what do you think KJ's day? Uh, he started 12 for 12 and made a really smart decision on that uh, RPO touchdown. Yeah, I'm looking. I think he threw three incompletions, so he's got to do – or five. He's, what was he, 18 to 23? Yeah, he's got to get better than that, you know. And th only three touchdowns and ran for one? No. he. You know, I thought he played well. Um, uh, he, you know, we're not asking him at this point to run the ball as much. You know, uh, we didn't want to run him today much, to be perfectly honest with you. We weren't going to advertise that, you know, but uh, we wanted to see if we had the receivers what we thought we did and things of that nature. And, and uh, Luke has, I think he caught maybe the first ball of the game. And, and so, uh, yeah, I thought he was really poised. You know, we made a lot about the new, you know, everybody did, including myself. I wondered about it, new coordinator, new coach, all that kind of stuff. And and uh, I don't know if we've answered any questions, but I thought he played really well today. Jay Wilson went from, if I get a dinged up shoulder, to scoring. I, I told him, I said, if you don't want to come out, don't get tackled, you know. and. Uh, he sure did, and I thought Tesla did a great job of blocking outside for him as well. But he showed some speed going down the sideline. I'd say if you have one callback, but you give me a thrill for the We mentioned it uh, after uh, in the locker room. Uh, we got a returner now. I mean, he's dangerous. And, uh, uh, you know, we did have the one block in the back. Um, but when he gets the ball in his hand, he's he's dangerous. Now, now they can 
they can take it out of it. You know, a SEC kicker is going to kick it out of the back of the end zone most of the time, you know. But punting wise, I mean, he's dangerous. And, and the more confidence he gets, the better off the blockers for him are going to become as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I felt it. And I think the whole crowd felt it. When he gets the ball in the hands with some space, he's, he, he's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're gonna have to kick it further than five, or he's gonna bring it out. Uh, we we think you know we think he's he can get it to a twenty-five. We're we're pretty confident in old kid. He he helped us too today in our confidence meter. You know, he, he's, he's done really well. Ever since spring ball, he's done really well. Um, he had to earn his spot. I mean, he did, and he'll tell you, but he did. And he's playing really good football, very physical guy. And uh, I've called him out in front of the team, him and Jaden Wilson both, about how they have changed. They're the only ones that can change it. You know, in life, you you wait for somebody else to change you, you you're going to be left out. And uh, they both changed their attitude about what they wanted and what they're willing to work for. And, and I'm proud of both of them and I'm proud of all the kids, but those two guys in particular because they've come a long way. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he played really well. You know, he he was I don't I don't know the stats on it and all that, but from watching the game, I thought he was probably the most productive linebacker we had. Uh, didn't see him miss uh, many tackles. I, I can't remember. Maybe there was one on a running back outside, but I don't know if that was him or not. Maybe, maybe I don't think that was. But yeah, I mean, what a nice pickup for us, you know, and just a wonderful kid, wonderful family. But uh, you know. He, Again, he's a guy that played at Cincinnati. He played, you know, so you, you can get him on the field a little bit faster. So, yeah, I was really happy with him. He was happy after the game, so I imagine he played well. Wes, the defense created five turnovers. Yeah. Is that something you've been seeing in fall camp or as aggressive? Uh, no, I mean, not as much because, you know, KJ, he, now we did throw a pick in two minutes uh, on uh, Wednesday. Uh, I think Jaden got it too, Johnson. Um, but we have gotten a few uh, turnovers. But we've done a nice job of holding on to the football, you know, uh, on offense. Um, but we're preaching it, you know. But uh, to get five, that's that's a lot, you know, a whole whole lot. And they did a nice job. Bob, Chris, I know he wasn't doing that against Alabama. Who? Well, I imagine he can outrun their offensive lineman too. <laughs> you know, that was the only people that's left. So he might be able to do it. I don't know. Maybe not. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? You know, and and because they were they had a drive going, and I just didn't want them to score. You know, I did not. I wanted I wanted us to. Because last year when we put our twos in, the, the team just went fume. You know, and. That's not why you play. You play to stop people. You play to score. And uh, uh, but it was really exciting to see him. I was looking for flags, you know, but there wasn't any. But so I didn't see all the whole run. I was looking behind him. But great play. Yeah. No, I think it just played out, you know, but. Man, our guys catch the ball well. I mean, they do in practice. And uh, no, I just think that's that's what I think Dan was trying to target some different guys, trying to get everybody in the in the game. And KJ hit them. I want to get your thoughts on specifically Armstrong to slot their first game and all that. Got the end zone. So what did you think of their first game? I, I thought they. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I thought Tesla. I, you know, Tesla. 
he catches everything all the time, and Armstrong does too. For them guys to come from Division Two and come here and do that today, I think. What is today? Well, today is to see a little bit where you're at, but don't get too excited about, you know. But today's about building confidence in the team. That's what it is, and and confidence in yourself, but more importantly, confidence in your teammate. And I thought they are the team already had it, but to go show it on a Saturday, I think that helps everybody. But I'm proud of those guys. <coughs> You know, I think Brady will probably be ready on Monday. Um, I hope so. We'll see. But he just wasn't ready, uh, wasn't able to play. So, therefore, we didn't bring him. Chris Welch getting in there, being able to orchestrate that offense. Wasn't that scores. awesome? Yeah, so just having a backup in there and, and seeing how he is able to orchestrate the offense like that. Yeah, I mean, and that was, that was, it was going to the left, and that wasn't an easy throw, and he threw it to who, Dozier? That was so awesome. You know, I mean, the young kid, you know, come and be able to score a touchdown. But he threw a dart out there. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's so – it's huge for us, you know, to have a – have two, maybe three really, really good quarterbacks. And then, so I was real proud of him. Again, that's building confidence, you know, and, and things of that nature. Yeah, I mean, he can play safety. He can play hog. Um, he, you can depend on him. He's so smart. He knows everything. Um, but he made a nice little pick uh, today as well, early. And uh, he's a guy that you can just count on. You know you can count on him. And and uh, I'm really proud he's on the team and proud. To, I mean, he's one of the most popular guys on the team, too. Kids, everybody loves him, and you would because he does everything right all the time. Yeah. I noticed on the sidelines, new benches. Is that for quick recovery during the game for your players? Nah, they're just air conditioned things. You just pop some cold air up you, you know, you behind, up your back a little bit. I didn't get over there, Mass. It didn't want to help with me. I wasn't playing either, but man, it got, it got a little toasty down there. Hi, Trey. Did you want to ask me something? All right. I think we feel like we've got nine or ten. I mean, we do, and so we will go in a four, a four, four man, uh, four man rotation of four plays, and uh, well, I think we pretty much stuck to that. And then, of course, then Nico, he played a whole lot, and and uh, Quincy and those guys got a lot of people in. Well, that's because he's a good player, and we just started. Uh, Dabinion, I think, is fine. It was a back deal. I think he's fine. Uh, Quincy Rhodes, I think, will be fine. I think he he hit his head on the ground, you know. And uh, but I think he, when when I got out there, he, he he was he was fine. He wanted to get up the whole time. Of course, they were. Very cautious with him, but he was in the locker room after the game. I guess he went there. Quincy got to call for targeting. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know what happened for targeting. They kick him out of the game, huh? I don't know. I, I mean, they rev if they reviewed them both, then I guess the booth said that they did it. But I don't know. I mean, if it's targeting, they, they it's targeting. If it's not, it's not. I don't know. They reviewed them, so if they called them. I'm sure it was. Thanks, coach. All right, guys.